I showed up to Denver. Me and JR got there early because we was going to start working out early. And every day, Allen Iverson would call and be like, yo, come to Dave & Buster's. They're, they're, they'll play shuffleboard and they'll play pool to about 11, 30, 12 o'clock. AI go to the club. You know, AI like to have uh, a few drinks. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll walk out the club. What time y'all going to the gym? We'll be there at 11. Me and Jerry are 11. AI don't show up. This is for like two months. Get the training camp. AI do a couple stretches. <laughs> Call the ball, ball, dude, ball dude. Like, give me like 25, five, five spots, five shots. He fully AI. He ain't touched the ball all summer. Not, not saying he didn't love it, but like, that's just, he was so gifted that like it just poured out of his pores. And you you find that in in, in the NBA sometimes, some guys just be, can be so gifted, they don't have to love it. They don't have to put work into it. Not saying that he didn't work. I, I didn't never saw him work. He always said he was gonna work. He probably put so much work in prior to that by the time he was done. He said, I just heard him say he was gonna I work. I heard him say he was gonna work, but like at that point in time in his career, he didn't have to do anything just to be AI. He, he, it just was him. You get a mix of those things. Super talented guys that don't have to put that much work. Guys who just are physically gifted, don't, don't care about basketball, just do it to, to, to support their families. And then you got guys who actually love it, and you can see that. You can actually see that by watching the game. What was so funny, but that's where the clash comes in that. That's where that's, that's where that's the, where teammates don't get along. That's where teammates don't get along. So and and this was always my theory. This was always my philosophy. Yeah, you got a person like him it was, who's sleeping in a, an arena and yeah. like shooting at three o'clock in the morning. So now I know I'm prepared and you not you can't make a shot because you don't do nothing like mm -hmm. that. And, and y'all clash, right? And I'm like, well, so you you're like, yo, we're gonna drop a player for him. Wow. <laughs> that he was at the club all night. I'm not passing in the ball. But fans don't know that. Yeah. People from like Sports Center, the Stephen A's, they don't know that. They're like, yo, dude is selfish. No, nah, I'm not selfish. Him partying all night, thinking he gonna get the ball is selfish. Right. I took a thousand shots last night getting ready for this game seven. He was in the club, three girls. And you want me to pass him the ball? No, not happening. Not gonna do it. You get psychopaths like him. I think that is like, <laughs> but, no, but, but, but it's, it's all from a good place. Like, no, right, but, but, he but you, put that but much you understand this. Totally yeah, I, I know totally we're a team, but anyway, we all, we all do our things, but you gotta, because I don't have the gift you have, I have to work for it. So when I don't see you working, it's like, no, I don't, I can't, I don't want to reward that. You've been rewarded too much for that lazy shit. I don't want to do it. That's what makes and, and, good uh, and bad teams, mm -hmm. like, Teams that like they got talent, but they can't really figure it out, like because it'd be a, like a little clash between like the workers, the non-workers, guys who care about it, who really will get some sleep, who really pay attention, like who really live and die to winning a basketball game rather than just I just this is what I do.